Oh, you know what? Someone sent me. Uh, somebody just asked me if I want to do an interview on that that that, that Doctor Laura. First of all, I've never heard of her. Evidently, she's been doing it for a while. What is she like? The poor man's Doctor Joyce Brothers. I never saw Doctor Laura. Uh, Laura. I'm gonna go with Doctor Laura for the block. Doctor Laura, thank you for coming back. <laughs> How are you? Something fucking psychologically funny. They say that 80 percent of people in Wisconsin. Eat too much cheese. Well, let's see. There is a lot of cheese in Wisconsin. Um, sorry, I just had a flashback to Hollywood Squares. Um, so, anyways, Doctor Lawyer, uh, Lawyer, Doctor Laura, um, evidently dropped the N word like fifty-eight fucking times. So I was like, "Holy shit! How did I miss out on this?" And then I watched it, and uh, all she was really guilty of, she was guilty of. Uh, being an old white person making a fucking old reference to Def Comedy Jam and HB on HBO like the last two seasons, and she was just going like, "What? You listen to uh, you know, you put you put on the HBO, you know, you watch the comedy shows and it's N word, N word, N word, N word, N word, you know." And then just people just go, just because she's now she's being racist, they don't even look at the context. She was saying that when you when you watch Def Comedy Jam the last two seasons, that is what you heard. That is what you heard. I used to do a joke. No, I didn't say the N-word. What I would say was my impression of Def Comedy Jam. This is the last two seasons. I'm not talking about the early seasons when it was Martin and all those guys. But the later seasons when they were scraping the bottom of the barrel like white comedy – you know, when, when just every fucking accountant who just threw his sport coat on and went up and went, what's the deal with airplane food? Black stand-up comedy got there in like 94, 95. And my joke of the Def Jam impression was, white people, pussy, peace. That was every set. that I. That's all it was. You ever see a white guy lay in a bed? You know, motherfucking black people, we lay in a bed. We lay in the motherfucking bed. Like It was ridiculous. All right? And then it was... Peppered with the fucking N-word all the way throughout. Fucking ridiculous. So you can't expect some 60-year-old white lady to be able to fucking process that. To get, like, I guess my only way to explain it is that's sort of like the black word for dude. You ever talk to a surfer or somebody like that? Dude, I was sitting out there, like Bobby Kelly. Dude, fucking dude, man. You know, dudes are being dudes, dude. I mean, you ever, do, you, ever, you ever just as a white person stand on a subway platform and you, there, there's some dude from fucking around the way and it is literally every other goddamn word and you're just sitting there like, you're just like in awe. Like, how the fuck can you use any word that much in a goddamn sentence? That's all she was talking about. She wasn't condoning it. She wasn't saying it in a fucking racist way. It's ridiculous. And then fucking the fat boss hog there, Al Sharpton, comes, you know, waddling out behind his fake fire hydrant. And then I was advocating they got to take advertisement away. For what? For what? Because she made an old reference? I fuck, I hate that. I hate how, how uh, there's no context anymore. People don't look the context. They just, they just have a list of words. You said this, and be, anybody who uses that word, regardless of the fucking context means X, Y, and Z, you're in the clan. It's fucking bullshit. It's like when I was up in Seattle, and uh, I don't want to burn this joke, but it's a joke that's on my next special where I was talking about how... Uh, I'll give you a little bit of it. This will be a little teaser for my special. It's basically how anytime you do anything like sens- sensitive as, as a straight guy, your friends are always like, what are you, a fag? And I was making fun of the homophobia, but because I used the word fag... These fucking four gay dudes in the upper deck just stood up and they go, fucking homophobe, mid-joke, and storm out of the fucking place. Fortunately, my ears are shot from drumming. I couldn't hear what they said. I kind of wish I did because it could have been a great moment. If I could have got them to stop for a second before they fucking sashayed out the goddamn door. <laughs> um, well, that was homophobic right there. You're saying we all sashay. Take a fucking joke, you dick. You know, Jesus fucking Christ. You don't sit around making fun of shit. Ah, whatever. That's what I'm talking about. She's not She's not guilty of anything. You know, she's guilty of, of watching Def Jam and describing it. <laughs> 15 years after it went off the fucking air. 
That's all she's guilty of doing. And uh, if I was a black comic, I would be fucking annoyed. The same way I get no- annoyed when people make fun of stand-up comics in general. And then whenever they do, they, they go, uh, you know, what's the deal with, with airplane food? And they, they criticize comedians for some bad shit that awful comedians did 15 years ago. So there you go. I don't even know why I fucking talk. I just, I'm just, I don't know. Al, what does Al Sharpton do? That guy should be selling used cars. I don't understand what he does. Other than get his hair relaxed every fucking 20 minutes. Oh, you need to apologize for that. We need to take the, 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 uh, the advertising away from your podcast. There's no fucking advertising on here. It's free. All right, Alvin. Um, anyways, let's plow ahead here. Um, but, you know, who am I as a fucking white person to fucking say that? You know, who am I to have a fucking opinion on that? So uh, how about uh, – so I don't offend anybody. How about the African-American listeners? Do you feel that uh, what, she, what she was saying? Look it up. Look it up on YouTube. Um, and then look at all the brilliant comments underneath it. And not to mention, I think a lot uh, – I don't know. If you, if you go on YouTube, uh, I would be convinced that everybody around the country is saying what they thought Dr. Laura, uh, Laura was saying. If you, if you go on YouTube, I don't give a fuck what video you look at. You could look at um, – I don't know. Guy dunks basketball, and then you go underneath, it's going to be all be about fucking slavery, uh, you know, fucking getting Mexicans out of Arizona or illegals, whatever the fuck you want. It's just, I don't know. It's depressing. YouTube's depressing. I just watch the videos, and I try not to scroll down, you know, like how I try not to look at porno, try not to go to the free websites, but just fucking thumb starts quivering. Ah, I got to click it, and then I go down, and then I, I'm reading it, and it's just, it's just fucking depressing. Um, and this is what kills me. Then she goes on and she fucking apologizes. And now the fact that you fucking apologize, you're, you're giving validity to a bullshit point, a, uh, um, a, a, a bullshit point. Why would you apologize if you didn't mean it in a bad way? You weren't, you were making a reference to fucking, uh, the last couple seasons of Def Comedy Jam. Right? Anybody? Nothing? Crickets? Ah, who gives a fuck? Uh, 